<laughs> World of Fishing. It is still in beta. I stumbled upon it when I was just looking what game I wanted to play and found this. I'll put a link in the description if you want to play it. But basically, it is a MMO RPG fishing game. And kind of weird, to be honest. But it's also kind of fun. Uh, as you can see, you got your inventory, you got your stuff, items and crap, character, you got stats. As you double up, you improve stuff. Uh, you got a boat. In this game, fishing game, you actually can go on the lake. They just fishing on the shore. Uh, you got play team deathmatch. Not deathmatch. Play team match. It is like competitive, kind of. And then play freestyle, which is just you going out fishing and enjoying yourself. Uh, there's the live well. If you're fishing there. And then when you're done fishing, you can sell them. Just clicking sell all. Or selecting what you want to sell and just selling them. Your currency is shells. Uh, and then there's another currency that is real money, like any other free game. Okay, these pearls is the real money, and then shells is in-game money. Uh, my character's a girl because the guys look so stupid. I was not going to use one of those dudes because they look so dumb. They were so dumb looking. And most of the girls are pretty stupid looking too, but... Uh, the character customization doesn't really exist. Uh, you, there's like six different styles of uh, gender. You pick one and then the customizing ha kind of happens in-game. Like you just saw in the shop. You just uh, buy clothes and jump like that. Clothes, different hairstyles, blah blah blah. But yeah. That's kind of the gist of the home menu. You can make a guild, there's friends. Aquarium, this is pretty cool, I thought. Okay, really? What's I gotta do with fishing? Oh. This is your aquarium. You can put the fish you've caught in here. Kind of show off. If you catch like a trophy that you don't want to sell, you put it in here. I got like a flounder in here, and then sea chub and my crab right here. But I thought that's pretty cool. The game overall, I've enjoyed myself. It's kind of fun. It's definitely, definitely different than your average fishing game, but it's pretty fun. But I'll get back to you guys with some fishing. Okay, so it is the MMORPG, and if you're familiar with MMORPGs, they have quests. Okay, you do have quests in this game, as you see right here. These are my quests. Right now, I have some to do in Mokpao, which is where I am right now. I have to catch three crabs and three white tailed rockfish. Now, I have a carter right here, a guide. Um when you start the game you get you get her for free and it lasts for I think it says thirty days and mine was only twenty, so but it lasts for a while and basically what having that guide means is I open my map here and if I like the spot I hit remember, it sets a waypoint here. And then when I want to come back, I just got to hit go, and she'll drive me there. So, it's like, nothing special, but... Kind of just makes it easy on you, I guess. But I'm going to go for the white tail rockfish right now. Right here, you can see what species are in this spot. Like crab, red sail, filefish, hexagramus, agramus. I have no idea what that thing is. Gizzard chad, armor clad rockfish. It tells you what's in this spot. I'm looking for the white tail rockfish at the moment. Which I do know where that is because I was fish trying to fish for it last night before I went to bed. Where am I on the map? Where am I? There I am, right here. Over here. Left a bit. It was in this uh, area right here. Yeah, it's a pretty big map as you can see. There's a lot of areas to fish. And then, where there's fish pretty much everywhere, but where the actual spots are is, I guess, better fishing spots. I haven't really noticed a whole difference between picking one myself and going to one of these. But there might be a difference. Prob there probably is, I just haven't noticed it. I've only been playing this game a day. I'm level 12 at the moment. Hey, right here. white tail rockfish. Now, this is where things get kind of weird. 
The way you fight the fish is definitely different than any other game. It brings the MMORPG aspect into the fishing game. And you have these cameras as well, where you can actually go in the water. And you can see the fish bite. It's kind of useful if you're just chasing one specific species. You don't want to waste time with anything else. Like right now, I don't want that, but I'm going to catch it anyway because it's free experience. Now when they bite, you get this mini game. When the fish pops up, you set the hook. Then here's how you fight. This is your tension meter right here. That's their energy. When that runs out, they just kind of come in. That was a weak fish, so that was pretty easy to get. One check right here with baby octopuses. It says what bait they want. Uh, baby octopus, small anchovy, bat sea star, tree lug worm, squid, spoon, spoon worm, red worm, blue worm, tiger shrimp, small shrimp. Uh, the orange is orange at the top is what they want the most, which is what I got on right now. So we should be able to get on one here pretty soon. They tend to bite. The fish tend to bite pretty fast. You don't gotta wait very long. As you can see, there's other people out here fishing. Aliana, right here. Uh, Grimaldi, the dude. And then if you look on the map, you can see where they're fishing. They're fishing pretty close to each other. Right here. Two red dots. You can see them right over there. So, it's an interesting concept. It's pretty fun, I think. I'll probably play it for a while. And then another thing when you're fighting is you can do a swing, it does extra damage to their energy. You can get them in a lot faster. To do that you just hold down the left click and swing your mouse. <clears throat> and then down here, uh, this little bar is your gas. And then these are your canisters. If you run out of gas while you're on the water, you fill up with that. Um, you have a stamina bar up here. If that runs out and you want to recharge it during a fight, you have your stamina drinks. Uh, basically all I can think of. And you got your rods, your reels, your line, your bait. A nice fish right here. What do we got here? What do we got? Jarella. Never caught one of those before. Not what I'm after, though. Not what I'm after. You can see the silhouette of fish down there, too. Like right here, there's one. And there's a tiny one right there. Like any MMORPG, though, you have your items. And they have their uh, like basic rod of balance. Um, they have level caps on them when you can actually use them. And then you get enchanting pearls when you, you can enchant your items to make them do more damage when fighting a fish or something. It also upgrades their level. Like that right here says plus one on the hit. That's because I enchanted it. And then you buy different kinds of lines and stuff like that. Interesting game. I mean, it's free, so might as well try it. You got nothing to lose except your time. You see a stun that's from me swinging. You get stunned sometimes. Ooh, he jumped. I mean, another Drella. Not what I want. All right, I leveled up, so this is how I can show you the uh, upgrading aspect. You get five points go into strength which is, which is your fishing rods increase stuns and basic attacks so when I swing like that it increases how many times I stun it and how much damage I do uh, increase reeling speed swing holding attack and decreased fish speed uh, these two are the most useful then there's endurance which is increased base stamina and recovery speed I put points into that every once in a while but mainly I focus on strength 
That one helps for me, helps for most in my opinion. Scorpion fish. Oh, and the grade aspect here. Uh, first grade, I thought that was like the best. Like, number one, you did it, good job. But it's not, it goes up. The higher the number, the better. The highest grade fish I've caught is grade six. And then it shows you how much damage you did. Uh, the average damage during the fight. How many swings, how many stuns. Holding, I have no idea what that means. The, how much points the fish is worth. Uh, the XP, how long the fight took, all that good stuff. I tend to release them though when they're that low grade because they're not really worth much anyway. But I upgraded my live well so I can hold 40 fish or 132 pounds. So I should just keep them anyway. Not like it's gonna fill up too fast. The boat you start with does not look like this. I think it was like tan, tannish white. And then it sucks. It's a crappy boat. Uh, this is the upgraded version of it. Which this one's not great either, but it's better than the other one. Okay, got him in real fast. Armor clad rockfish. Nothing special. Grade 3, not horrible, but not the fish I want. I need to catch my tail rockfish. What's a crab bait? Small shrimp. I'll try and get that guy real quick. I know he's easy. Small shrimp is the uh, bait you start the, in the game with, and you have unlimited of it. So, like I said earlier, crabs are easy to catch. It's so easy that you can use the starter bait. <clears throat> yeah, it almost seems like if. The fish is on your quest to catch, they don't bite. Because it's taking me forever to do a lot of my quests, because the fish never bites, and when the quest is over, they start biting again. I don't know if that's intentional, but if it is intentional, it's kind of stupid. Then it's just another randomness thing. It has nothing to do with you being good or anything like that. I don't like random number generated type of games. Uh, you can pretty much cast anywhere and catch fish in your spot. I'll cast right in front of the boat and still catch something. And then whenever someone else catches a fish, as you just saw, it shows up on the screen right here. Which is, I think, a cool aspect to the multiplayer setting. And you click on me and see what they're doing. Like, she's the FK. And then he's got his line in the water at the moment. <coughs> Now in the fight, if they start getting close to the boat, you can actually back up your boat. This is crab right here. Yeah. Um, with bigger fish, they'll charge at the boat. So you gotta back up and fight the fish at the same time. Or they'll try to run and you gotta chase them down. So being, being able to drive the boat during the fight is actually uh, very useful when you're higher level. Now I got the crab. Uh, I didn't I didn't need a crab this good. It's grade 5, so that's pretty pretty good. Put in the live well. I gotta catch three of those though for the quest. Three crabs and mock pow. Then three white tail rockfish for mock pow. Let's try casting right here again. I don't know. I know you can cast anywhere in your spot and catch fish. I don't know if where you cast matters to what species you're catching. I haven't figured that out yet. It's possible that it does. Let's see, if I catch another crab right here, then we'll know it actually does make make a difference. Let's see, what we get.
Oh. Rockfish, grade five, wow. Uh, I'm gonna try to go for the. Where's my octopus? Oh, white fish again. White tailed rockfish. Let's try to run a spot. Um, we're gonna move over here. We are not getting any white tail rockfish. Now, right here, I didn't show you guys this yet. This is Whopper, so that's the biggest fit. The, the fish w worth the most points you've caught on this fishing trip. Mine's 340, and it shows on the players. Uh, Kaliana hasn't even caught a fish yet, so she's been AFK all the time. Grimaldi's was like 500 or something, so he has the biggest point fish caught. Then total score is the total amount of points you've gotten during your fishing trip. Combo, I'm, I don't know if that's just how many fish you've caught in a row. I haven't figured that out yet. Back out a bit and get attention on this thing and get it in faster. Well, we did the crab quest at least. Grade 6, that's a nice crab. Not the quest I wanted to complete, but it is done. Uh, tells you what to do. Compensation, 800 XP, hit complete, you're done. Uh, then after you do the quest, you get another one. Catch three rock brims and muck po. You'll receive that quest. So far, I've only been doing the quest from Peter. There is like five, six total quest people that you get quests from. But Peter's kind of the starting guy, so. Thanks for watching. If you guys like this, I will definitely do more World of Fishing videos, but you guys have a great day. Peace.